Hey guys, there's a problem with the back left window. It won't go up and down. And it's also very clear that there is something wrong with the, the, the other ones have a real clicky sound. And this one is like open. So there's probably something wrong with the, with the switch in there. My dad took the car to the car shop and they made an offer to replace this entire thing would cost 850 euros, not including any work hours. I want to have a look and just see whether I can figure out what's wrong or whether I can just fix it. signs of corrosion in there. So the, this is probably where the problem is, although the buttons seem to work. But I do see some corrosion here, so it could be that I'm gonna take this in, use some isopropyl alcohol to clean everything off. Do some measurements here. Hopefully that'll fix the issue. So we're gonna take some IPA. And then I'm just gonna start by cleaning off this side entirely with some isopropyl alcohol. Ah, let me... Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see a bit better what I'm doing. You can spot corrosion on uh, copper very easily because it starts turning green a little bit. Three of the four buttons still work, so I don't understand why this one wouldn't. Uh, unless the button actually is broken, but I don't think it is because... The clicking is exactly the same on all of them. Beep beep. Uh -huh. So we already got a potential bad trace. So this trace is busted. Now we have a connection where we previously had a broken trace, so that's it's highly unlikely you have a trace that is not required, right? So, so I think we at least fixed something. So let's see here to here. We now have a good connection. So, one problem down. So I'm back at the car. Now everything should be relatively straightforward. Do everything I just did, but the other way around. Plugged in the car, car ignition is turned on. Let's see, at least does it still work? Okay, so that window works. Let's see if the one that had the problem actually still works. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I can! I fixed it! <laughs> Yes! Can I still move the mirrors? No, 
minutes to go left. And it moves. Now, why am I so happy? Like I told you before, my dad uh, had a quote made to fix this. And just replacing the part, so not the labor, would have cost us 850 euros. I fixed it with two hours of my time, a little bit of soldering, and it works. That was it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time.